is Sam Jones. I uh, competed today at the Senior World Championships. Um, just a thought about your match and uh, how things have gone for you out here in, in uh, Belgrade. I got to get on top. I didn't put myself in a position to get on top. And, um, when I get there, my percentage of scoring points is really high. Um, and I didn't make it happen today. So. Your guy was kind of tall. Is that ever a challenge for you when you wrestle a guy that can get farther away from you because of his size? Um, he did a really good job keeping his hips uh, away from me. Uh, I was trying to attack the body, and um, you know he was just able to kind of like keep pressure and stay away from me. So I don't know if the height was a factor or not, but um, he had a good game plan of just evading me. You know, and. Um, Sometimes the ref will put you on top, sometimes you won't, but I, I, need a, I need to score points on my feet. If I can get to where I can score on my feet like I can score on top, I'm very confident that I'm going to have success. So, second straight year competing here. How do you think your progression has gone since last year's Worlds? And how far away do you think you are from being right there for the medals next year? Yeah, um, I mean, as far as preparation, I, I have no fingers to point. Um, the best shape of my life. Um, Nutrition-wise, this was the best weight cut I've ever had. I feel fantastic. Um, so I feel like I'm right here. And it's just, it's very small adjustments. You know, you watch any of these matches, um, it's one in parterre. A lot of guys are really good at pummeling on the feet and not giving up points. And yeah, he didn't take me down, but he turned me on top. So. Um, that's where it's won and lost, and I didn't, I, didn't, I didn't put myself on top. Again, that's the whole thing. I gotta watch the match, but... You said you had great training. What has your training been like? I know you were a late addition to the, the world team. Yeah. What's, talk about your training? Yeah, we knew, we knew uh, pretty well in advance, so I've been with all the guys the whole training camp. I missed it one week. Um, but yeah, going through Yvonne's system, it's been, it's been great for conditioning. Um, I've got coaches bending over backwards to you know, work on my technique, guys driving me to and from Denver uh, in between after practices. So that's why I'm saying I have no excuse there. I feel like I was prepped well. Um, uh, the difference between this year and last year is I've been here before. And the nerves was way different than last year. Um, I felt very comfortable getting ready to go out there. It wasn't a factor. Mentally, I was prepared. Like, that's why it's really frustrating. I don't really have a, an obvious thing to look at and be like, yeah, I gave this guy way too much respect. I've wrestled him before and I've lifted him before, so and if I could get there. So it'd be good. So where do you uh, where do you go from here? Do you take some time off? Do you get right back to training and competition? What, what's your path here? Yeah, I mean I'll take a little bit of time, but I want to get back to training. I'm, this is so frustrating. Um, this is torture coming out here and losing. I don't want to train and lose. This is so. Uh, I love this sport. It's a really hard sport. Um, but yeah, I want to get back and train. I don't think that these guys are miles ahead of me. They're not. They're not special at any of the weights. Um, and we need a breakthrough. I'm tired of the U.S. losing. This is just frustrating for me. So I'm not taking a lot of time off. I'm going to get back to it. I'm motivated uh, to, to train and uh, to have a breakthrough. It needs to happen. Excellent, Sam. Well, appreciate you coming down, bud. Yep, thanks.